Hello students, today's discussion will be on the action of controllers as well as the action of wall. So when we talk about action for any component of a control system, not only for controller or the walls, there are other components as well. We can also talk about their action. So action is either direct action or indirect action. Indirect action is also called reverse action. Fine. So we are discussing here about two components only, the walls, the action of the wall and the controllers, the action of the controller. Before understanding the action of controller, you must understand the action of wall. So, there are two types of action, direct action as well as reverse action. If you talk about the classification of wall based on its working, based on the relation between the input air pressure, the air pressure comes from here. This is the air pressure, which is generally mentioned in PSIG, G stands for gauge pressure, right? These kind of walls which work on air pressure are called pneumatic walls. So in these walls, the input is this air pressure and then you see what is the flow rate. Flow rate increases or flow rate decreases. Based on that, we have two classification of wall, air to close wall and air to open wall. Fine. What is the meaning of air? This air stands for the air pressure coming to the controller. From where this air pressure is coming? If you follow the control block diagram, before the final control element, which is the wall, there is a controller. So the controller output is converted into the corresponding air pressure and it serves as the input of the wall. So air, air means input. Fine. Now air to close air to open let us understand this first air to close means as this pressure which is coming from the controller to the valve as this pressure increases the valve will be closed and the flow is going to decrease getting my point i'm repeating this again as the air pressure coming from the controller increases the stem is going to shift downwards the opening present here will be decreased and the flow will decrease, the wall will be closed. So air to close. More the air pressure, more is closing, less is the flow rate. Fine. So how it is uh, the same valve can act as air to open. What is the meaning of air to open? More the air pressure, more is the opening. Fine. So suppose if we are giving a 3 PSIG pressure to the valve, and the valve is 20% open. If you are giving 8 PSIG now, so you are increasing the air pressure, the valve will be 60% open or 50% open. Air to open means, as air pressure increases, the valve opening increases. Fine, and the flow rate increases. This is the meaning of air to close and air to open. So how this valve, this uh, valve is going to act as air to close or air to open depending upon what? So depending upon the position of the spring, suppose from here you are taking the air pressure and your spring is present here, right? As the air pressure increases, the spring gets compressed and the valve will be closed, fine? If the air pressure is at its maximum value, the stem will be at its maximum down movement and this gap will be completely filled with the plug. This is called plug. And then there will be no flow. Fine. So if air is maximum, closing is maximum, zero flow through the wall. Getting my point? Now think, suppose there is no signal here. Suppose the controller fails. Controller is not able to send signal to this valve. So there is no air signal, no PSIG signal coming to the controller. This condition is called failure condition. Now what happens if signal fails? The spring which was compressed before, it is going to restore to its original position because it is the tendency of a spring. If you compress a spring like this, you keep on compressing because from the top a signal is coming. But if the signal is lost, the spring is going to regain its original position and then the valve will be shifted upwards and this area will be completely open. So, air to close valve. If air is there, the valve will be 
some up to some percent it will be closed but if air is not there the controller fails then what is going to happen obviously you will say that sir this uh, plug is going to shift upwards and the uh, flow area is going to increase and that is why this air to close valve is also called fail open right now suppose this spring position is shift upwards this is a di uh, diaphragm and this is your spring position right i'm not making the exact diagram this is just a rough sketch and suppose the psi signal is coming from here now what do you think what should happen as the signal increases the diaphragm moves upwards fine the spring gets compressed the opening is going to increase and hence it is going to become air to open more air more opening opening more flow rate fine but if this signal is lost then the compressed spring is going to regain its position and again the valve is going to close fine so this is called fail close valve that is how first uh, the air to close valve and air to open valve works now you should understand here air to close means the closing of the valve is proportional to the incoming air fine air to open means the opening of the valve is proportional to incoming air more air more closing for air to close more air more air opening for air to open for air to close if zero air then completely open for air to open if zero air then completely close so these two names are also important here fine now let us talk about the action of these valve which valve should be called as direct acting valve which valve should be called as reverse acting valve okay see what is the meaning of direct when we call something as direct acting suppose there is some system and then you are giving here the input and some output is you are getting some output from the system fine okay if input increases and output also increases then the action is direct action if input decreases and the output also decreases then the action is direct action means if input and output are having similar nature then the component is called direct acting fine similarly if you talk about reverse acting or indirect acting suppose this is a system you are giving some input and you are getting some output if input increases and output decreases reverse action if input decreases and output increases reverse action fine this is the meaning of direct and reverse action now how to identify this air to close wall and air to open wall as direct and reverse acting so first of all you have to identify what is the input in this wall and what is the output in this wall so that you can consider you can check which wall is having what kind of action now most of the students what they think that air pressure is the input right and flow rate is the output fine so if you if you find the nature of this wall according to air pressure as the input and flow rate as the output then your results will be wrong for deciding the nature of the wall the input is air pressure definitely but the output is not the flow rate the output is the movement of this stem right and the movement of the stem in this direction is taken as more movement or you can say that suppose this is your initial position of the stem this is you can call as x is equal to 0 then the stem moves from this position to this position that is x is equal to x max in this direction we say that the stem is moving in a positive direction so this movement of the stem is considered as the output of the valve fine to check the action of the valve now you decide suppose if it is air to close so in the case of air to close valve the spring was here fine and the signal was coming from here so as the air pressure increases what will be the direction of the movement of the stem downwards the positive direction so air pressure increases the stem movement increases fine and therefore air to close valve is called direct acting valve i hope i have made the point clear 
Similarly, suppose in this case, if the air pressure increases, the stem moves in the opposite direction. Or you can say that the stem moves from x max to x zero. That is the negative direction. You can say that the stem movement decreases. So as the air pressure increases, here the stem movement decreases, and therefore air to open valve should be called as reverse acting valve. Okay. Now this concept is not explained in any of the books, but there are some questions in gate examination based on this concept. So the action of valve is calculated on the basis of air pressure and the stem movement, not on the basis of air pressure and the flow rate. Definitely in air to close valve, when you are increasing air pressure, the flow rate decreases. But this is not the basis of defining the action of valve. Okay. Now, once you are comfortable with the action of valve, that air to close is always called as direct acting valve and air to open valve is always called as reverse acting valve. Now, when this is clear, now you can talk about the action of controllers. Now, let me explain how to decide the action of a controller with the help of an example, right? Let me consider an example of liquid level control system. Suppose this is a tank and the inlet flow rate comes from this side. I want to control the liquid level. So what should I do? There is a level transmitter. Fine. It's a convention to make the transmitter in rectangular boxes and the controller in circular boxes. So level controller. Okay. To the level controller. The set point of this height is provided and this is I want to control. This is the control variable. Fine. Now this controller sends its signal to the final control element which is the valve in this case. And this is Q up. This is Q in. This is a simple liquid level control system. Suppose the question says the valve is air to open. It should be provided in the question that the valve is air to close or air to open, right? So you can answer that what kind of action the valve has. According to the discussion that I just made here, the action of the valve is reverse acting, right? Reverse acting. I hope the action of the valve is clear to you. Now let's talk about the action of the controller. For finding the action of the controller, we have to compare two parameters. Action of controller. Two things has to be compared. The first thing is CV. What is CV? The controlled variable. Controlled variable means that variable which you are controlling. So what is the controlled variable here? The height of the liquid level. This height is the control variable. One thing is the control variable. What is the second thing? The second thing that you should see, you should check is the controller output. Where is the controller output? Here, this point is the controller output. Check the nature of these two. Fine. If control variable increases and controller output also increases, what should be the nature? Direct action. If controlled variable decreases, controller output also decreases. What should be the nature? Direct action. Direct action. Fine. If controlled variable increases, controller output decreases. Controlled variable decreases, controller output increases. What should be the action? Reverse. Please note that these action are of the controllers, not for the world. Now how to check? Initially, you can assume that the controlled variable has increased. Suppose it has increased. It is just my assumption. You can also assume that this has decreased. No problem. Now, think it logically. If this liquid level has increased to this height, suppose, then you are the controller. What should be your decision? What is the action? What is the working of a controller in a control system? The controller is the mind. 
it is the brain of the control system it is going to take decisions fine so what should be the decision of the controller if the liquid level has increased definitely the controller wants to take this liquid level to restore this liquid level to the previous value fine so what should controller do it should open this wall and increase this flow rate i think you are getting this thing this is a very obvious if you want to decrease the flow rate you can't do anything to this because this is a disturbance right disturbance is not under our control this is the manipulated variable manipulated variable is under the control of controller or of the operator fine so if liquid level has increased so what is the nature of cv cv has increased okay so let me write here cv has increased fine what should be the action of the controller the controller will direct the valve to open fine but how to direct the valve to open see the controller wants to increase this flow rate for increasing this flow rate the valve has to be opened now now check the nature of the valve what is the nature of the valve air to open means if the incoming signal increases then only the valve will be opened and the controller wants to open the valve so what should controller do it should increase the controller output or decrease the controller output what the controller wants the controller wants to open the valve the valve is air to open so controller should increase the air controller should increase the psig controller should increase the controller output so if cv has increased what is the decision of the controller to increase the controller output and whenever this kind of combination is there what is the action of controller direct action getting my point so what was the uh, action of this valve reverse action what was the action of controller direct action this is how you can check the action of a controller this is the basic understanding of direct and reverse acting controllers fine now you can also understand this if you decrease this again you will find that if height decreases the controller has to decrease its output fine in both the cases in both the ways you are going to same you have the same kind of nature and same answer for the action of the controller fine there are some problems in previous year as well you can try to apply this concept to those problems do not look at the answers most of the books most of the sites have wrong answers for the action of the controllers okay this is the concept follow the concept whatever answer you are getting that should be the final and that should be the right answer i hope i have made the point clear many students were continuously requesting to explain this part thank you very much